but when we get to that, all right, I give him credit. We have a new producer on the show. <clears throat> Can't wait to hear. It. Watch, we're all streaming. We're not saying anything. There we go. <laughs> we were waiting. <laughs> we were all waiting. We were laughing we hysterically. Were being yeah. Okay, so it happened. Why? Two a.m. Okay. Taylor Swift. Yes. <gasps> and she dropped the TTPD. TTPD. The tortured poets department. Ooh. Have you listened to any of it? No. I, well, I listened to the first eleven songs while I was cleaning this morning. How many are there? Uh, Thirty-one. Well, that's on the. Bonus one with the bonus track. It's 16 and 15. Yeah. Whoa. Yes. But I listened to the main album. And, and what do you think? Thoughts? It was okay. It was fine. There was you know, all of our songs kind of sound the same. Especially this album. Because my sister came over because she was taking my kids to school. And I wake up so early, like 3 a.m. So I'm like, I'll throw it on while I clean the house. And she, my sister's just gaga for Taylor Swift. And she's like, did you see this lyric? Did you hear this lyric? Did you hear? I'm like, I just had it on while I was doing dishes. Let's calm down. I know. Everybody's like saying, like, she's like dissing Kim Kardashian right. on this oh, she's one. she's dissing everybody. You know, and, all, and I told her, all the songs sound the same. And that's not an insult. I mean, she's a pop performer. but Well, if it works, why not replicate exactly. The That's formula. true. Yeah. Well, the reason why I'm bringing it up is that people on social media are saying that it must be AI. Oh. Because how can Taylor Swift put out all those songs at once? That's 31 new new songs. Yes. So because she's a hard worker. She's Come a hard worker. Internet. No, she absolutely is a hard worker, yeah. but... I don't know if she would do that. I think oh, she would have a little more integrity yeah, about her. She's known for her lyrics more than she is her voice or her performances. And also all these ex-boyfriends. Well, yeah. I mean, you could just put boy, ex, ex-boyfriends in an algorithm and pop out 31 new songs. You know, and all the ex-boyfriends, they're getting together. Oh, yeah. They're going to produce their own album. They're going <laughs> to call it She's the Problem. <laughs> And on that happy note, welcome. It's Kim Commando today. It's your daily fun podcast about all things digital. I'm, of course, your beloved digital goddess, Kim Commando, here once again. Um, please bow down to me, please. please. You're not worthy. We're, we're not, not worthy. worthy. Yeah. Hey, you know, what happened to the we're not worthy? Uh, the 90s ended. Oh. <laughs> Yikes. There was that. There was that. I know. It's always crazy. Like when you're like your favorite song is like, it's like. On, a, on the oldies station, right. it's a classic. The like, 25th anniversary. I You're recently like, looked up a song, and it is 20 years old, and I felt very sad. Well, what about like gangster I rap? To go take a night. Gangster a rap is now officially an oldie. Yes. Yeah, that's that's rap. insane. <laughs> I think that term is the problem. <laughs> sure, but that's what it was. Well, and so let's introduce Andrew Babinski. Hi, I'm Andrew Babinski. What do you got coming up? <laughs> we uh, We have Google. Google? Yeah, they're arresting their employees and everybody's all up in arms about it. <laughs> <laughs> the employees that they haven't fired yet. Well, they fired them. Oh, they did fire we, them. Yeah, we have a full update. Okay. And Only what do you fired. got? Allie Seligman, our amazing content queen. I'm talking about all the stores that are closing. There's a lot of stuff closing down. Brick and mortar. Yeah. So 90s. Yes. So 90s. You know what? When, the last time I went into Macy's, I was like, this place has turned into a <laughs> rat hole. Yeah, they're <laughs> closing a bunch of locations. <laughs> Poor Not Macy's. surprising. I mean, Taking shots Macy's for no used reason. to be nice, and now it it's like... It used to be nice. What's a nice store, then? What would be a nice store that you would Nordstrom's. say? Nordstrom's. Okay. I, know? I thought they were pretty much on par. No. Oh. Sorry. No. Did not you know what? Macy's is like... I'm not going to say it. I'm going to offend fancy literally Target? everyone. It's no. Worse, it's worse like, than fancy it's Target? It's worse than Target. It's like Ross Dress for Less. <laughs> there it is. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say DJ wow. Maxx. It is Same bad. It is hilarious. bad. You know, I went there because I wanted to buy, at the, for the new house, I wanted to buy like bedspreads and stuff. Mm -hmm. They had like three things out and every one <laughs> of them were like disgusting. The only time I've ever been to a Macy's and purchased something was on your recommendation because <gasps> of the sheets. Oh, they have good sheets, the hotel, the hotel collection. Hotel, yes. yes. I've purchased those because you recommended them. Otherwise, I've never even shopped at a Macy's. Okay, so this is part of the pod where we have to say what? like, yeah. share, comment. All right, we said it. Good. Okay. That was easy. It's done. Like, share, comment. And I'm going to be reading the best comments at the end. Yes, of course. So, we do it every podcast. Make sure that you give us some great comments. Now, this is if you're watching us do the podcast, okay, at youtube.com slash Kim Commando. And so that's Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And we do it at 11.30 a.m. Pacific time, uh, which is now on the East Coast, 2.30 p.m. And in my inbox, somebody actually said, can you tell me what time that is in Chicago? 
Okay. All right. This is a central time zone? Yes. So 1.30? Something like that. You have yeah. to figure that out yourselves. <laughs> yeah. Okay. If you're on a weird time zone, that's up to no, you. No. Next uh, episode of the podcast, we'll tell you that when it starts in Guam <laughs> and uh, <laughs> North Korea, we'll make sure we get all those time zones Hawaii, covered. Hawaii. Yes. London. Sure. You know. Tokyo. Mars. Yes. We'll have about five minutes for content, and the rest is time zones. <laughs> that would, you know what, that would be it. Hey, and guess what? What? I'm giving away a brand new iPhone. Whoa. Yes. A 15? Yes. An iPhone 15. 800 buckaroos, baby. Uh, 799. Sorry. I don't know if you can legally say $800. No, she's going to wrap a dollar bill around that. <laughs> that would be smart, actually. That would be. <laughs> 800 sounds so much better than it's 799 easy. Rolls off the tongue. You have to go to winfromkim.com. Once again, that's winfromkim.com. And we have a really super great video at the end. Of today's podcast? Yes. So nice. if you are getting the audio version of the podcast, we love you for that. But if you ever want to see us actually do the show, you know, you want to see how, like, you know, how beautiful I am and how gorgeous Allie is and how... How present. good Andrew looks in green. Present Andrew is. <laughs> and how, you know. He's here. Average Andrew. No. Dang you know what? Him. You are you are very handsome. And she says that with a high-pitched voice. <laughs> <laughs> you are very handsome. All right. Hostage. Here are the top five things that are happening in the tech world right now you need to know about. Are, how are you sleeping at night? Oh, good. I'm in a good sleep phase, actually. I'm doing good. Not anymore. Why oh. not? Uh, FBI Director Christopher Wray said... Oh, boy. Uh, Chinese government-linked hackers have burrowed into U.S. critical infrastructures, and That's they are right. waiting, here's his exact line, for just the right moment to deal a devastating blow. Let's get him out. Yikes. You can't. <laughs> Unburrow. You can't. Push. Okay. Shut him off. For every 50 great white hackers that are hanging out in China... Right. We have one... Okay. 50 to 1. Can't so, we just unplug the cord that goes no. to China? <laughs> Whatever. It's under the ocean. It's a whole thing. Oh, man. Do they say what kind of attack this might be? I know we've been talking about water. Water is a big one. Yeah. Uh, power. Okay. Uh, and so uh, I would make sure that you have, like, you know, some solar type batteries hanging around for your okay. devices. And we should put water. that in the newsletter. Some solar phone chargers. Exactly. No, exactly. solar type devices. Be as technical <laughs> as Kim <was>. Yes. <laughs> he's you just mad you said he's average. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you know what? I was thinking of like solar power generators. That's what I was thinking. That's yeah. why I said solar type devices. Doesn't matter what you really meant. It's just a matter of what I can make fun of you for. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, this is crazy. This is crazy. So when you think if you're being catfished mm -hmm. and romance gift, is that what you want to do? Is that you say, hey, would you like to get on a video call? And if the person does not want to get on a video call with you, well, that's probably a big red flag yeah. that the person who you're talking to is not the male model that you were told. <laughs> yeah. okay. Or the female model. Sure. Okay. So the Yahoo boys, those are those guys in Nigeria that do a lot of the catfishing, the romance scams. Uh, they've been working on some new technology for two years. Thank goodness. I know. R&D over there up. for the scammers. <laughs> Look at the video. You starving yourself. You know I don't want okay, that. Okay, so he I has put well, a, some animal. guy's <laughs> face on his face, so it looks like this guy's actually talking, the good-looking guy, not the guy on the lower bottom. So the bottom is the scammer, the top is the sorry, romantic no. interest. Is the deep fake video. And whenever he talks, it comes the out of the... Fake Comes Says out of the okay. This might be scarier than the China thing. Yeah, I can do without <laughs> water. <laughs> I can't be but hacked you're... on the dating sites. <laughs> How's it going with Jennifer? Shush. It's going great. Okay. Uh, item number three. That's not what you told me before the show. Oh my God, Kim. It's every it's every episode. <laughs> It's every <laughs> first I was attacked for my shoe and footwear, and now my relationship every Wednesday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday is in balance because of this woman. It's because you called her your current girlfriend. <laughs> One time. Every time. <laughs> Jennifer, I'm sorry for everyone here. Except Jennifer, I would move on. <laughs> I would just say enough. You don't want to be with some average-looking dude. <laughs> Do you? All right, so um, Meta. I've heard of him. Okay, and, you know, I have to give Mark Zuckerberg some credit. And, and okay, he, he looks like a creepy guy. Did you see his new look? I was just going to ask, did you see his makeover? I have not. Oh, my gosh. He's got a beard. <laughs> I didn't see that. He's got, curly like, hair. curly hair. He's tan. No kidding, he's tan. Under is, he, is he flacking the shaka like he was <laughs> in Hawaii? No, but the best comment I saw on Twitter was, uh, dude's going to steal your girlfriend's data. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's a great one. That's really good. That was yeah. Funny. Well, you know, the whole metaverse thing went by the wayside, and because he said, "All right, well, maybe that's not going to be the future. Maybe we should actually do AI." They're giving up on the metaverse. Yes. <laughs> so, this past week on Facebook, Instagram, uh, what else? Mes- Messenger and mm-hmm. WhatsApp, is that now there's a little search bar at the top that says you can uh, ask Meta.AI anything. Okay. Okay, Google search is totally dead now. Mm. Really? Okay. Have because, you used it? Uh, yes. You don't have to go to Google. So, like, you know, it's like if you're on Instagram or something, you want to look something up. Right. No. You just oh. type right there. Wow. Do you have to hit a special button? No. You just it's type just in. It's just in the search. It's just right there in the I search. I haven't seen this mm-hmm. yet. Maybe it hasn't rolled out to or you. Or I got to update my app. Yeah, update your app. All right. So, you have... Uh, Hold it. Can I interrupt real quick? Yes. I know you want to go to the next thing. But uh, it looked like you were celebrating the death of the Google search. Because I'm right again. Oh, it's just personal interest. Okay. okay. I talked about this in like 2022. Like Google, I mean, nobody ever thought that Google could be dethroned. But they have their own version of this. They have their own AI. But you're saying because it's integrated in other there places. There is. Wait, I want to see him. Do we have the, the picture the of Mark makeover? Mark Zuckerberg just popped up on our screen if you're listening. There he is. Look at that. <laughs> looks like he's in a boy band. Sure does. You know what? He still looks like a dork. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, she's he not looks wrong. Way better though. Oh, he does look way better than the pasty white face thing that he would use normally look like. He looks, well, he like, looks he's like, an, like a human man. He looks now. like he's an LFO. That's true. He, <laughs> ha- <laughs> he has really topical <laughs> reference. He has a gold chain on. I know the gold chain is pretty good. Yeah. Gold chain. So if you're going? if you're listening to the audio version of the podcast, you just have to. Well, you Google search Mark Zuckerberg's new look. <laughs> right. Or just do it with Meta AI. Yes. Hot Zuckerberg. That's all you got to search. <laughs> It'll pop sure. up. All right. So if your kids are playing Fortnite and Roblox. My kids do attention. both. Okay. Ooh-hoo. Is that they may be getting pitched like, hey, would you like some free gift cards? And how about some new uh, skins for Fortnite or whatever it might be? And V-Bucks. And the kids are like going, yeah, I'd like to do that. And then they said, well, you just have to, like, click here to agree. When they click there to agree, because, you know, everybody always reads the terms and conditions. Especially a child. Of course (laughs) they do. Is that what they're agreeing to is to let their computer processing power be used on to generate AI, uh, but to generate AI porn. Oh, my gosh. So uh, make sure that none of your computers are signed up to something called salad. Okay. Salad. I had the talk with my son. Oh, about salad? Mm-hmm. No, no about... on Wednesday's podcast, yeah. uh, we talked about really not good things that mm-hmm. happen on the internet and that could, children could be facing. Yeah. And so I just pulled my, I think my daughter at six is too young, wouldn't yeah, comprehend young. it. And so I pulled my son aside and I was like, hey, this is, this happened on the internet and you just need to watch out. If anybody asks you for anything personal, and he wanted more information, he's like, what are you talking about? What happened? Oh. So I just said, an adult asked a child to be nude and take photos. And he literally, he got so disgusted. And then he was mad at me for like an hour. Why would you even tell me that this happened? He had to. And I, that's what I told him. I said, you have to. You, you're reacting to it correctly, mm. properly. But now you know that if any of that even gets close to that, you know to run and come tell me. And I told him, you did nothing wrong. If any adult right. comes to you, you did nothing That's smart. I'm wrong. glad you said that to him. You will that's not smart. be in trouble. You will not at all. Even You wouldn't even be in trouble for talking to somebody you're not supposed to. You did nothing wrong. You're the victim and come straight to mom and dad. That was smart. Yeah. I thought it was a good oh, a little I just good got, piece. Yeah, I just got some chills you know at that good you're, parenting. You're a good dad. I am. That was a you're good You're way above average good dad. dad. Horrible dresser. Way great above dad. average dad. <laughs> <laughs> he is. Andrew's a great dad. <laughs> All right. So finally, this guy in New York uh, is wearing his Apple Watch. And he has a terrible bicycle crash. Oof. Okay. And then when you see pictures of this guy online, oh, you saw the pictures. It's like this. I clicked and I regretted like, it. Yeah, it's like, you know, half his face is just really... That's a terrible ride. It's like there's a... There's something grapefruit. growing there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's okay. bad. Okay. So he's like, oh, well, I guess I'm going to be okay. So he hobbles home and then he said, well, maybe I should take a shower. Now, <laughs> keep in mind that this is all growing on his face. Right. Okay. <laughs> While he's in the shower, he faints. And then his Apple Watch calls 911. That's awesome. Okay. 
Why didn't it call 911 when he crashed? <laughs> You'd think fall detection would have... Uh... Look on the bright side. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he didn't drown in the shower, and that's so good. Right. We're yeah, so that's important. That, you know what? You're right. I should always look at the bright side. Speaking of the bright side, I'm going to let... You, I'm going to let... Not you two decide. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay, great. But at the end, we're showing a space type of video. So if you're a space nerd, you're going to love this video. Love right. Space. Okay. Um, but the choice is, I have a really short joke at the end about Or no space. joke. Is the other option no joke? <laughs> no. This is why oh. you can't choose. <laughs> That's why it's called the Kim Commando Today <laughs> podcast. Uh, we have a short joke, or I have a really great Long joke. Oh. Mm. So we're we looking for the comments to decide? Yes. All comments right. will decide. Short joke. And then we'll take a tally. Or long joke. I'm All interested right. to see what the people choose. What I, do you think? I'm leaving before either joke starts, <laughs> so it's fine. I, it doesn't matter. I won't say my guess because I don't want to influence the votes. That's true. Mm -hmm. No campaigning here. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe. I think the long joke She's better. just going to decide what she wants. It doesn't matter what it is. She's going to tell them both. <laughs> 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 hey, it's Kim Commando today. Just a quick reminder, make sure that you enter to win that five, no, not $500 Amazon gift card. Let me do that again. <laughs> okay, that, Take that, two. That one's all over. <laughs> Thank God for it because nobody wanted it. <laughs> okay. Uh, hey, it's Kim Commando today. Just a quick reminder, make sure that you enter to win that $799 iPhone 15. The lawyers you, got to her, folks. $799. <laughs> go to winfromkim.com. All you have again. to do is sign up for one newsletter. That's it. Check it out. If you don't like it, it's easy to unsubscribe, but you're still entered in to win the iPhone. Oh, but they're going to like it. Oh, of course they're going to love they're it. That's why it. we do that, because they, we know they're going to stay. Winfromkim.com. Winfromkim.com. I think we should all say it together. Winfromkim.com. Winfromkim.com. This is sounding com. very that's, cult that's, Oh, yeah. That's, I've never been in a cult. I'm curious. What is well, you just work. Like. Yes. <laughs> all right. So what's going on at Google? Well, you probably saw the story a couple days ago. 28 employees at three Google offices did a sit-in, a stage protest, okay. where they sat there for 10 hours demanding to speak to the cloud CEO at Google. Okay. Where were they sitting? They were sitting in the offices at three locations, Sunnyvale, yeah. Seattle, and New York City. Did okay. they take bathroom breaks? No. Oof. And they were demanding to speak. Ten hours. Ten hours. 28 total people in three locations. They were demanding to speak to the cloud CEO because Google has a deal with the government of Israel, $1.2 billion deal, that they believe, you know, is bad. Okay. And so they weren't going to leave until they got to speak with him because they think that all the messaging that Google has about this deal with Israel is all propaganda. None of it's true. It's all about the defense of Israel. Okay. So after about eight hours, the Google uh, higher up said, you got to go. It's time to go. You've been here. You said your piece, but we gave you a whole full work day. <laughs> you got to get out of the building. Just sit here. And they said no. And so they said, okay, we're going to call the police. Yes, yeah, so we're going to make the police come. And they said, you're going to arrest your own employees. How dare you? Two hours later, nine people were arrested. <laughs> and the other 19 <laughs> left on their own. And the protest was over. Okay. Two days, uh, 24 hours later, after an internal review, all 28 people involved in the protest were terminated. Mm. For, for what cause? Because they were endangering others and making others feel unsafe in the workplace. Wait. Google, Google. Really? Yeah, that was one of the reasons. Huh. Because the discourse got to a point where they were be going above and beyond what you can discuss and do in a workplace. Then they sent out a mission statement this morning, basically saying we're done talking politics in the office. This Can't is talk a place politics of, at all. No, this is a place of business. We have things to get done. They they, they listed like. 25 different paragraphs of their mission and where they're failing and where they're not doing a good job. And search. The, <laughs> <laughs> the focus needs to be on this and not your disagreements in the office. There's a time and place. Well, I, you know what? I agree with that. Yeah, of course you do. Yes. I mean, I agree with that. I mean, you know, because there have been times when we had like certain people who were like, you know, pro Trump, oh. pro Trump. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, and, and they and, love to talk about it. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> then you have other people who are like, pro-Biden, pro-Biden. And they love to talk about it. And that's why we don't talk about either one. Did you have to make a public statement to everyone who works here that this just isn't allowed? 
Was uh, it behind the scenes or was it this memo? Stop. It was. It was pretty much be, where I took the people in and I said, you know, your your politics making people uncomfortable. Sure. And and that's what Google was saying is that the politics of these people were making, especially the CEO, the right. CEO of the client. He couldn't leave his office because there was ten people sitting in front of it demanding to, that he speak to them. I mean, that is one employee employee that at least felt unsafe. Okay, that's fair. All right, I can see it. But, you know, then I also, I had somebody once who was anti-gay here. and Like vocally at work? What is yeah. wrong with people? And I mean, I had a, yeah, exactly. What? I mean, I'm like, this is not the time or the place. Could you legally terminate them for those opinions? Uh... I'm not sure because I'm not a labor attorney. Because the, the union that represents the Google employees, they, of course, are completely flabbergasted that Google <laughs> would fire the 28 people who refused to leave the offices and sat there for 10 hours. Well, of course, hours. that's a union. I mean, right, I understand yeah. that, but I, do they have any legal backing? Uh, you know, I don't know. I mean, you know, you guys both know, like, when, when I do things, I normally do things for a reason. Sure. <laughs> okay, I mean, like... Like, you know, like we've talked about recently. Absolutely, okay. yes. And because Allie was on a panel and all this other stuff, and I just, I'm, and I'm, so I'm trying to make sure, like, her name, likeness, image is going to be just protected and all that other stuff. Uh, as, you know, as you get more popular, you want to make sure that you, you know this, you mm -hmm. know, as a public personality. Um, so, like, every January we send out this long email it says, welcome to 2023, welcome to 2024, whatever it yeah, is. Yeah, workplace policies. Exactly. Yeah. And in that workplace policies, there says things like, we are all inclusive. Mm -hmm. We love everybody, you know. And if specifically because of things like that have happened in the past here. I was reading a blog about this, though, and the, the blogger is pretty much like, these 28 people are all going to get paid. Even though they went and they were protesting their own employer and oh, making course. demands and yes. disrupting, disrupting the workplace, right. they're all going to sue and they're all going to get paid. Well, and... <sighs> I don't know. Do you think they went into it knowing that? Like, no. okay, this well, is not going to end well for us. I don't know. You know, and 28 out of how many? 1,200 1, 1, Google employees in the United States? No, there's more than 1,200. Or maybe in those three offices. Yeah. I don't know. I, they, I don't dumb. know. We'll have to. Let's Google that. <laughs> let's use Meta AI for that. <laughs> the story I read said 1,200 employees, and that may have been in those three offices. Probably. I could see that. But I mean, you can't, you can't sit there. I can't on this podcast sit there and make a protest saying I'm not going to move unless I get chocolate milk before each show. It's just <laughs> something you can't do. And it's unreasonable to think. S sorry, we we don't we don't do chocolate. I'm milk. lactose intolerant anyway. It wouldn't work. <laughs> I'd be kicked I, off the show. <laughs> listen, I've been looking for green M and M's ever since I started this show. You see any? No. No. No respect. Nothing. Hey, it's Kim Commando today. You know the drill. We want you to like, share, and comment. You have to what? Smash it? Is it smash that like button? Smash it. Smash the yeah. smash it. That just means you click really hard. Yeah, especially on TikTok. Just click regular. The are there thing, are there any other things that you can smash? Lots of things you can a smash. A burger. A burger. <laughs> Thanks for going PG. Sure. That's not where my head went, I know. but I appreciate it. How come your head always goes there? I don't know. I what may... is that problem? I, it's, I don't. Why was it a problem? That I have a healthy sexual appetite. I was telling you guys <laughs> before the show, I hurt my back on the way here this morning because I turned so quickly to see a woman at the car wash next door to the office vacuuming out her car. What was she wearing? She was wearing yoga pants and a sure. half shirt. That's her fault. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you went too far. Do you want to walk that back a little bit? Oh, that's, <laughs> no, that's bad. That's where my mind went. Why did you ask the question? Is there anything you can smash? Where was your mind at? Watermelons? Potatoes? Remember Gallagher? No. Gallagher? no. Uh, Mashed potatoes. Not even close. Like, comment, <laughs> share, smash. Smash the whatever. Like button. Uh, can you do hear out of your thing? Pardon me? Is it just me? Can you hear? I can hear. Oh, yeah. I can't hear anymore. Okay. Maybe it's We can just... hear you. Okay. I just want to make sure my audio is working. All right, Did it unplug? Do you, can you still so. hear? No, Are you here? But I can hear you next to me, so it's okay. All right. Yeah. That's working. important. It's very important. Do you want Wayne to come out and fix no, it? No, I'm okay. She said no. She'll just rough it. <laughs> the sacrifices you make for this pod. It's, it's really something that she does that. <laughs> 
my baby's growing up. <laughs> All right. So, Allie, what do you got for us? Uh, a whole lot of places are closing down. Bankruptcy everywhere. I just saw Joanne, you know, the fabric store? Yeah. Bankruptcy. They're not closing. I was going to say, that would be shocking. Oh, Joanne's. that would. I don't think I've ever been inside of a Joanne oh, fabric store. Oh, I had store. a sewing face. I've been in a Joanne I don't know if I times. can tell the difference between a Hobby Lobby, a Joanne, and what's the other one? Michaels. Michaels. I get the hives going into Hobby Lobby. <laughs> Lives. <laughs> it's like I look at uh, all these things. Mark won that uh, that went off as a possible sponsor of the uh, podcast. <laughs> well, it's just like you know you go in there and also like Michaels. They're the know. same store. Do you feel like DIY pressure? What's the problem? I look at all these things like going like why would you spend like twelve hours making a box when you can go <laughs> buy it for two dollars? Okay, so it's yeah. The creativity, the crafting, the project. Taking no. these, no, no. <laughs> no, not for you me. You know, I, I tried. What I did tried. you try? Okay. It was about three years ago. I thought it was this would be something that would be really fun to do. Was right. this a COVID okay. activity? Uh, kind of, yes. Okay. I thought, like, I should learn to knit. Ooh, Kim. So I bought the needles and I bought the yarn and I was, like, super excited and I head on the kitchen counter and Barry and Ian walk in. They're like, what's that? And I said, I'm going to learn how to knit. And they looked, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I still have it. Did you ever attempt? I tried, and it just was like. I don't think you're a knitter, Kim. No, oh, I'm not a knitter. I don't think that works with your brain. No, it doesn't. No. It yeah, you're work. more of cross-stitching. <laughs> cross-stitching. <laughs> Embroidery. <laughs> yes. Uh, woodworking, maybe. I could see you doing that. You know what? I, have fun. I made a bowl. I did. Out of wood? Yes. Uh, how so? I was like 12. I still have it. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Count. Still counts. All right, who else closed? Okay, uh, CVS, ton of those. So they've been doing this for a couple of years. By the end of this year, they will have closed 900 stores. That's a lot. Wow, you know what? That makes sense, though. Doesn't but they it? have all the well, pharmacies. No. Well, wait, though. Um, the branches inside Target, all those are closing, too, which I know personally because I scheduled a flu shot at one in the Target near me. I got there for my appointment, and it was closed down. <laughs> was it? Yes. Oh. There's, there's pharmacies inside of Target are all shutting down? Yes. Wow. I know. You think drugs, big money. Why would you have to close down? Drugs, big money. I think there's a pharmacist shortage, which might be part of it. Uh, also, sure. you can do a mail order now. Yeah, and, that's true. Yeah. And, uh, Amazon course, does it? I, I was going to say Amazon. Yeah. Boom. You know how many, you know how many members... Americans are prime members. Well, I, I was here during Wednesday's podcast, so I know the answer. Oh, I just, I'm just still floored it's by crazy. that. It's crazy. I'm just floored that they make $25.2 billion a month. Oh, oh, just fees. Just fees. That's gross. Uh, Best Buy, they closed 24 late last year, another 10 or 15 going away. That's another place that's sad to walk into. When you walk yes, into a is. Best Buy... And they still have DVDs on the shelves. Mm. You're just like, this is not... I think they're cutting, like, the physical media section from a bunch of these stores, which is kind of dumb because DVDs are coming back. Are they? Style. People want to yeah. own their... I don't even know how to play stuff. it. You know, like, it was Best Buy years ago. I get a phone call, and it was from a business broker. And, um, and he said, you know, would you be interested in buying the Geek Squad? Whoa! <laughs> and I thought, you know what? I thought this was going to be a great idea. I'm like... This makes sense because we have 400 and odd radio stations. Yeah. Okay. And then in every city, we could have like a commando geek squad. And then, and then I was also thinking like, you know, I'd find like the best geek of the week in that particular town and <laughs> interview them and make sure like everything's good. Seems great. Yeah. And so uh, I get all the numbers and I'm looking at the financials and, you know, I have a mentor. Right. Is Fred. His name's Fred. Yep. And I've known Fred since I was in my early 20s. Fred gave me my first job in radio. And I talked to Fred about a lot of things. I talked to him yesterday for about 40 minutes about something that's going on in my life. And uh, and he always gives me, like, great advice. I mean, just, you know, like, whether it's personal, financial, radio, business, whatever it is. And, um, and so I'm, like, all excited because I get all these numbers. And I, I did a, a presentation. I made up because I was going to show Fred all of this and, and get his thoughts. Because I was also thinking, you know, not for nothing, but, you know, for every beer that's sold, he makes like 10 cents. Right. Okay. <laughs> so he's got a lot of money. Something like, okay, well, he's got yeah, a lot of invest it with a lot of best, right? So, you know, come on over, <laughs> buddy. You know? So I get this. So I'm, I'm looking at the whole thing and I'm like all excited. This is going to be great. Okay. And I do the whole presentation for him. 
I was like, and he's just looking at the screen. You know, it's a video. He's just looking at the screen going, like, hmm, okay. And he's, okay. And he's not really asking a lot of questions, which is kind of strange. But I'm thinking, like, okay, maybe that he's all excited. <laughs> he's too. in. He's, like, going to totally buy all this. So I get through the whole presentation. And I, I, he leans back in his chair and he folds his arms. And he looks at me and goes, I just have one question. Just one question. I'm like, I'm thinking, like, oh. It's that good. He has one question. <laughs> when can I buy it? Yeah, where's my wallet? <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> and he, and just as the way he says, he leans back and he looks at me and goes, Kim, where is the TV repairman today? Oh. <laughs> That's all he had to say. That's all he had to say. Well, you would think if it was such a good business, why was Best Buy wanting to sell it? That would be another question. But yes. we're still going we're always gonna have to have computer and technology repairs until we have robots that do it and sit in the corner of your home. Yeah, you're right. That was a good idea. You yeah. shouldn't have bought it. Yeah, shouldn't have bought it. Yes. <laughs> you worked through the whole cycle there. Dude, that was I, just thought, I just thought that was so I mean, here I have worked six weeks on this presentation. <laughs> get all the numbers. And he just had one question and was like, and I looked at him and went, Oh, you're right. Okay, forget that. <laughs> Bye, good <laughs> talk. <laughs> yes. like, nice seeing you. How much was it? Uh, oh, I was under NDA. I can't say. Oh, damn. But <sighs> I'm probably not under the NDA anywhere. But it was, you know, millions and millions and millions. Hundreds of millions? Of millions? No, 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 no. Oh, no. Much. Okay. No, not that much. Maybe we could cobble. I'm trying to narrow her down. I'm trying to see and get the answer. <laughs> 80s of millions? <laughs> Whatever it was, it wasn't worth it. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, the company that owns Outback Steakhouse, Carrabba's, and Bonefish Grill. Uh, dozens of those. <gasps> the Bloomin' Onion? The Bloomin' Onion, which I hadn't thought about in like 20 years. No and then... rules, just right? The Outback <laughs> Steakhouse? Not all of them, but <laughs> but many of them. The underperforming. I haven't been there in probably a decade. I haven't been there. <laughs> the only reason why I know about the Bloomin' Onion is because years ago, Barry was doing their commercials. <laughs> oh, no kidding. Um, yeah, and we would go there because he, we had like free meals all yeah. the time. <laughs> <laughs> the Bloomin' Onion, you can eat one probably every year, uh, yes. and that's good enough. <laughs> those things are uh, It's rich. just a deep fried onion right yeah oh. okay but they bloom it for you yes. first <laughs> yeah yeah i think yes. i've had one in my childhood uh and then we get to the dollar stores which are not doing good these days um i found some funny things about this so they all say like the 99 cents only store they're closing all 371 locations this is sad Eleven thousand jobs that is sad Oof, i thought gone. someone i thought someone was gonna bail them out and keep them open i don't think so on that one the, i think it was the two dollar store that was gonna <laughs> The $2 store. <laughs> that joke almost worked. Uh, so they say it's because everyone's stealing. It's because of inflation. Uh, turns out they haven't been profitable since 2015. That's a while. Uh, one of their best. That's a while. <laughs> <laughs> one of their best strategies uh, that failed was to raise the height of shelves. They called this the Go Taller Initiative. Uh, but it just made all the food go bad uh, and things broke because I want to they fell. that sponge, but uh -huh. it's all the way up there. <laughs> yeah. It's 99 cents. Mm, can't. Uh, and then Dollar Tree, they own Family or Family Dollar and Dollar Tree. They're closing a thousand stores. Yeah, all the that Family Dollar. So many. Uh, same for them. They say it's inflation, it's shoplifting. They haven't made money in a long time. Uh, perhaps you remember that $41 million fine. I believe it was the Justice Department because one of their <laughs> warehouses was full of alive and dead rats. Yeah, but they only cost a dollar. So <laughs> that kept the price. Well, and that's down. the other trick. We actually are writing about this in the newsletter because I was so fascinated by it. Uh, dollar General, another dollar store, they have this huge class action class action lawsuit right now because turns out they were marking the products as one price, maybe a dollar, I don't know. You'd get up to the register. It would be a different price, more, oh. and people would just say like, oh, "Fine, oh, okay. okay, it's a yeah. bargain to have, whatever." Oh it my be. gosh! So you can sign up to get some money back if you got, you know, uh, your your fifty cents stolen or whatever. So, so I had never been in a ninety nine cent store in your entire life. So we were, so we were driving. Not going to answer that. <laughs> so we were, we were, I don't know, driving on Twenty Fourth Street. And I said to her, you know what? I want to go in a 99-cent store. <laughs> She's <laughs> easy to please. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like... Here's five bucks. He's like, what? I said, I want to go, I want, I want to go in a 99-cent store. I've never been in. I want to see what it's like. Okay? So we go in the 99... We park. We go in the 99-cent store. We are the only people in there. Except oh. for when you walk in the store on the left-hand side, there was like a cashier... But it was like raised, so this way she could see over the entire security thing. slash cashier. Yes, yeah, security slash cashier. Okay. And so, uh, so, 
I'm I'm going like, oh my god, look at this pen. It's like ninety nine cents. And, <laughs> you know, look at this sponge. It's like ninety nine cents. The dish detergent is ninety nine cents. So, so Barry takes he starts and he's like, look at this. And so he, <laughs> excuse me, he, he held up like like a, a mug. Right. And he he says, excuse me, how much is this? <laughs> and the woman says. 99 cents. <laughs> okay. So we go to the next aisle, and there's like, he picks up a screwdriver. Harry. And he says, excuse me, <laughs> how much is this? And she says, it's 99 <laughs> cents. So he, we go to the next aisle, and there's like a pack of to- towels. She's going to throw him out. Okay. And she, he says, <laughs> and I'm like laughing like my butt off. He, then he lifts up and goes, how much is this? And the woman says, 99 cents. And then she says, and she gets on the PA and she goes, attention customers. <laughs> Just you two. Everything in the store is 99 cents. <laughs> and then I was like, yeah, Barry's like, you want anything? I'm like, no, let's go. <laughs> uh, the 99 cents store is good if you have kids. I give them each five bucks. And I'd say go inside and go on a shopping spree. Okay. And they can pick, I mean, it kills like a good hour and a half. That's Does fair. It? They have to That's spend true. it wisely. Well, they, yeah, I mean, it's hard to depict yeah. what, what pile of crap you want to buy. <laughs> The pile of crap that's for girls or the pile of crap that's for yeah, boys. Yeah, you just got an, a whole hour of peace for right. $10. It's easy money. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Everything's 99 cents. <laughs> that's that's so, funny. so funny. Comments. Whoa, comments. <clears throat> got comments. <gasps> From John. I what just, a special I loved, treat. I love John's haircut. I, I know. Just, John looks it great. It looks really nice. John's the coolest one How of come, us all. Why don't you try this, Andrew? <gasps> I don't have any hair. Wow, Kim. You could do the reverse. Okay, here. While I'm looking at the comments, do you think? Oh, yeah, okay. Hold on. Let me pull up the message real quick. All right, I'm ready. Welcome back to Kim Commando today, the uh, streaming podcast from the Kim Commando show. It's not the Kim Commando show. It's a totally different show that Kim thinks is better, and it's her baby, and she always touts about it. This is the streaming podcast, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We got a message, a message from Sully. He says, wow, you covered a lot today. There's just one suggestion, Kim. On your podcast, when you're handling the comments, they're in quotes, I don't know why they're the actual comments, uh, you need 30 to 45 seconds to peruse them. This creates dead air time for the viewers. It also looks like the show is over and you've gone on a freeze frame. So while Kim is reading, Andrew could do the hit. That's an industry term right there, doing the hit. Like subscribe or sign up for whatever. And while he's showing off his fashionable footwear, you can find the comments to read on the show. Sully, you're now our show producer. We appreciate Wonderful it. Wonderful work. It's a great suggestion. Frankly. I don't know if it works if we do triple boxes and we see Kim looking through the comments. I, the I think it still time. works. There's audio. So? Right. You can see movement. So make sure you uh, sign up for the newsletter or whatever, like Sully said. <laughs> okay, enough. Well, I got it. We got right into the comments. I mean, you're going like 90 seconds. Long, okay. <laughs> Paul, so shut up. I mean, you just keep going on and on and on and on. Do you have on. any comments, Kim? <laughs> I got a lot. Did you get votes? Yes, the- I got a lot of votes. And well, we'll do those last. All right. Um, <clears throat> but first, I got to come back because the audio version for the podcast. Oh, gotcha. Hey, it's Kim Commando today. We are so glad that you're joining us because after all, it would just be the three of us. Yeah. Okay. And Boring. so we need you to tell at least one person. That's all. Just one person about Kim Commando today. And wherever you get your podcast, that's Kim Commando today. Now, you might be wondering, is this, Kim, your, like, really big award-winning National Radio Hall of Fame show? No. That show is not. That's called the Kim Commando Show, and you can get that on Apple Podcasts and Spotify, commercial free, uh, also inside the Commando community as a perk of your membership. That's twice the Kim Commando. Whoa. Yes. Noise. All the time. All the time. <laughs> All the time. All right, so we got a lot of comments, a lot of comments. That's a stack of papers right mm-hmm. there. It's almost a whole tree. <laughs> it is. Uh, let's see. Uh, Jennifer, I thought it was Suzanne. (laughs) There we go. There's no Suzanne. From Scotty. You guys are killing me. Uh, let's see. Hey, Allie, you should watch the Kenny and Adam show on Twitch. Okay. Okay. (laughs) 
<laughs> what was that? That's in us. To? Come Ken, on. We're, we're, I'm Kenny, and you're oh, yeah, Adam. That's right. Oh, for God. God. <laughs> oh, I already smashed that subscribe button. Uh, Kevin wants to know if I win the contest, can I get a Samsung Galaxy device? Because I don't use Apple products. Yeah, you can do that. Sure. Just let us know. She's hard. As long as it's seven hundred and ninety-nine dollars. You're so don't, hard to please. Don't Jeez. be looking at it if it's like a twelve hundred dollar Galaxy Note or anything. Yeah, that like just that. means she hasn't bought it yet. So make sure you message her if you win. Okay. Let's see. We have long joke. Short joke. Our total totas, I am disappointed in you. Why? Why? He said short joke. Oh. Mm. Toro, toro. He's got things to do, Kim Commando. <laughs> 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 we need to have Arturo on someday. No, I don't want to ruin okay, it. Uh, Lina right. Lucian Michaela says, a long joke is not a joke. It's a it story. Is. It's Well, it's a joke. It's a story of the punchline. Our total totas. <laughs> I smashed the like button. <laughs> of course he did. So hard. <laughs> Uh, no, I ended up closing the app. <laughs> That's I love Arturo. Arturo, you have to come see us someday. Seriously, he's the best. He's the best. Really, Make that love is to the like something. <laughs> Adam was thinking about Suzanne. <laughs> what? No, Suzanne. These That's, comments are making Kim cry. <laughs> That's why his She's mind crying. went there. Oh, oh my gosh. Rosemary says, Kim, you're so right about Macy's. It was once a great store. It's just garbage now. I had no idea. Yeah, it's... That's too bad. It's rough. Uh, Lou says, what do you call a happy cowboy? Well, I don't know, Lou. What do you call a happy cowboy? Uh, Jolly Rancher. <laughs> <laughs> Love your commitment to the punchline there, Kim. <laughs> uh, Jolly Rancher. Is there anything else to say? I used that in the newsletter the other day. Oh, That's did you? why. I just oh. stole it from me. Rip off. Okay. All right. So, uh, Space Nerds. Yes. I have a video from NASA that they have a new way to power, uh, I guess you'd say, space stations and rockets. Ooh. Here, check it out. Lightweight carbon fiber booms unroll from the spacecraft to form rigid tubes that support the ultra-thin really polymer sail. It's like a sail. When fully deployed, it's a kite. the sail space forms kite. a square that is, a space that is 33 kite. by 33 cool. feet. Or about half the size. Are those solar board. panels? Uh, Altitude yeah, kind of. Position are changed by angling the sail towards. So the sail away moves the in, so it gets the, enough of the, the sunlight, okay. so that it powers it. So like, it's, so it's not just sitting there static. It's it's blocking the sun though. This is like Mr. Burns from The oh Simpsons my gosh. when he threatened to uh, block the sun. It's what it is. Yeah, it's just like that, Andrew. It's just like that. It is. This is very cool. All right, so I have a short joke. Are you and going, I have a long you're going joke. With, which one are you going with? Well, Kim, just tell them both. I, you know, people really want the short joke, but I think the long joke is better. So you're overruled. <laughs> Your opinion means nothing. No, so we're going to do the short joke. Okay. Right. And then for those of you that want to hang around for a really great long joke. There you go. Yeah. You can do that. So we'll have two, like an alternate ending. Choose your own adventure. Ooh. Kim Commando Today podcast. Short joke? Yeah. Long joke. So we'll pretend we end after the short joke and then pick right back up. What type of currency do they use in outer space? I don't know. What? Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> what a great short joke. I don't think you meant that. No, I did. I don't think you did. It was beautiful. All right. <clears throat> Thanks for being here. <laughs> Like and subscribe. <laughs> like, hit that smash button when I got Toro Hit that in. smash button. <laughs> smash button. Well, you know what I mean. Yeah, smash the like button. Yeah, smash the like yeah. button. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was laughing too hard over my own jokes. <laughs> All right. And then here's the long joke. Okay. <laughs> it's so bad. Oh, no. Oh, no. It is so bad. Oh, this build up. Are you going to make it through? <laughs> I don't know if I will. It's really, look at this. Ooh, Cam, do, 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 do. this is a novel. Yes. It was <clears throat> the best of times. It was the worst of times. <laughs> In outer space. NASA was experimenting with different animals. In space, monkeys were an obvious choice, but they had no patience. Mice chewed the cables. Chickens were scared. It seemed the only animal that could cope with the intense stress of space, space travel was a cat. Okay. After a few months of training and testing, the cat was ready for his first mission. It was to embark on a journey to Saturn's moon, Titan, to discover if life could be sustainable. As the rocket prepares for takeoff, five, four, three, two, one, up, up, and up it goes. <laughs> Stop 
it. You're making me laugh. I'm just looking at you. <laughs> the cat bursts through the Earth's atmosphere and begins journey as the first cat in outer space. A few weeks go by. After a while, the cat's like, oh, I'm like totally bored. He spots a red planet nearby. And although he tries to resist the temptation, he sets the shuttle on a brand new course. <laughs> and before Houston could stop him, he lands on Mars. Houston sends a probe to investigate what the cat was up to and why he decided to venture so far off course. The probe goes to Mars and finds the tracks which lead it to an area of wreckage and signs of a fight. The cat, unfortunately, is dead. <gasps> Flat as a pancake on the ground. Then the robot, once sent to explore Mars, had cat remains all inside of its little wheels. It was clear. Curiosi curiosity <laughs> killed the cat. <laughs> See? That was good. It was better than Starbucks. It was. It was. Curiosity killed the cat. Poor kitty. Poor okay. kitty. You're going to tell that joke. No. <laughs> no. No one has that kind of time. <laughs> I mean, if you pay your kids $10 to go to the dollar store, you'll oh, have time. True. Sit down, kids. I'm going to tell you a joke that will uh, lead us to bedtime. <laughs> I told you it was a long joke. It was. It was, it was a, good a good joke. It was, it was a good, good joke. Okay. It had a good payoff. <clears throat> so, you know, smash that like button. There we go.